I have my text in my terminal incredibly big for two reasons. One, I think, uh, oh shit, what's that noise? It's got Facebook going on over here. Anyways, not only is the hack font really pretty, but you know, I want to be able to see, even if you guys watch this at uh, full resolution. So today we're going to play with a program called KPCLI. KPCLI is a, uh, a key pass client for the command line. Um, so first thing you do, we'll type help and it'll give us all our quick little commands. The thing you got to know about this one is it's kind of got its own kind of trimmed down version of bash running in it. It's not really bash, but it's very bash like. Um, it's got a lot of features, but we don't need to know all these features. We just need to know a few of them. So let's start with what we got in here. LS. By default, it comes with email and internet. Um, I hate the way those are spelled, so rename email. I will call it email. Rename internet. No one really uses the internet like that, so I'm going to call it social. Now if we clear it out, email and social. So what do we do first? Well first we make a, a new email address. So we go to the email and we new. Ah, add new entry to email. So I'm going to say gmail for example. Username arthurreader at gmail.com password. Now, there's several ways you can do that here. You can uh, generate G or you and that'll automatically you build one for yourself. So URL mail.google.com and then you can add some comments but if you just want to end your line just a bloop and then once you're done you have an entry. So you can just show Gmail. Pretty groovy. Uh, also, you can just highlight this thing and get the copy of it. Boop. I'll show you this. Uh, this is not my actual email address, as you know, because I just generated, but it generates very secure passwords. So there you go. And then when you want to, uh, yeah, so that's what we have here. So you want to save, so save as, oh, oh sorry, one too many, a few arguments. So I'm going to save this as pass dot kdb and then the best part password you enter a password in and then it saves it once you look in the folder boom you have a new password thing so k p c l i let's open this thing up k database pass enter your magical password and then everything's right where you left it off show email gmail boom Pretty groovy, no? Also, just pointing out certain terminals. Open link address, copy link. That's kind of cool. So it makes it very easy to use. And very portable. Password managing. I've put all my passwords in here. It gets pretty big. So I only imagine you can hold a ton of passwords. Anyways, uh, happy passwording.